CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. It's been 30 years since the fans of New York City were swept up by one of the great upsets in football history. Joe Namath and the New York Jets victorious in Super Bowl III. Bill Parcells earned his place among New York football legends by winning two titles as head coach of the Giants. He's back in New York this time as head coach of the New York Jets. Answering the prayers of their fans, the Jets captured the AFC East title and have positioned themselves for a run at a second Super Bowl. Jacksonville head coach Tom Coughlin is a Bill Parcells disciple. His fiery style reminiscent of his mentor. He's also tasted success as a head coach. He took over the Jaguars in 95. One year later, had them in the AFC Championship game after stunning upsets in Buffalo and in Denver. Now the Jags are back in the playoffs for the third straight year. A first round victory last week over New England has put the Jags one game away from the AFC title game and two wins away from the Super Bowl. It's been 12 years since the Jets have hosted a playoff game. Today, a time this team and its fans have thirsted for. It's a battle for the final spot in the AFC Championship game as Jacksonville travels into frenzied Jet territory. coverage of the AFC Divisional Championships continues this afternoon from the Meadowlands in New Jersey. The Jacksonville Jaguars come in as champions of the Central Division with a 12 and 5 record overall to take on the New York Jets who are 12 and 4. Good afternoon everybody. I'm Bert Lundquist along with Randy Cross. Welcome to the Meadowlands and the continuation of a remarkable Jet story. One in 15 two years ago. Division champions for the first time since the merger this year. And Randy, any number of uh, feel good stories this year. None more prominent than Vinny Testaverde and his quarterback play for the Jets. And when I think of Vinny Testaverde, I think of poise and confidence in 1998. The Jaguars goal of the day on Vinny Testaverde. They got to blitz him and try to shake that confidence. For the Jets defense, if you had to say one guy embodies the whole thing that the Jets are about on defense, it's Brian Cox. The entire team has to reflect his personality. For the Jaguars, they got kind of a two-headed monster on offense. Mark Brunel has to stay in the game and has to stay healthy. Fred Taylor's running game keeps Mark Brunel healthy. And for the Jaguars on defense, a huge story will be how they handle Vinny in the offense. And Kevin Hardy has to be the guy in charge of getting after Vinny Testaverde. Jets in the playoffs for the first time since 91, first time at home since 1986. We'll be back. The American general freeze, but down on the field. For more on that story, here's Michelle Tafoya. Yeah, Vern, this is the ice that was chipped off the sideline.